Alright, hello everyone, my name is Ace Lisa and welcome back to the channel. We are here today to take a look back on the last day of 2022, that's when you'll be seeing this anyway, um, to a tweet that I released exactly last year. It'll, I'll be having it here on the screen with me. I don't know if I'll have it on the whole time, but I, I guess I might if I'll do it like this. We'll take a look at this that I tweeted out last year, seven little thingies that I wanted to try and achieve and see if I have achieved any or none of it. Because more than likely I have not achieved all of it. Because, you know, whenever you try and set goals out for yourself, they might either change down the line, they might be put in the rear view mirror, they might not be as much as a priority as you thought it would be as the year progresses and all. But yeah, let's see through the seven things that I have here on this lovely tweet of mine from a year ago. Look at a year ago me. This was somewhat of a very uh, dark time in my life. You could say that. Um, 2020, 2021 definitely was not easy on everyone. 2022 has been a whole lot better. Ho not hopefully, thankfully. Especially these last few um, months of the year and all, which is lovely, of course, to see and to experience. Not everything has to be despair and downtroddenness. You have to experience some of that rainbow after that rain, you know? So, yeah. That's it. Just kidding. Um... First thing here that's listed on the tweet is being okay with not talking to someone every day. Yes, I would say that I have accomplished that. Most of the time when I'm tired from work and from school, I hold myself up here in the room. I'll either record videos or play games or just listen to music or watch something and then just get my ass to fall asleep. But other than that, I haven't really been trying to seek out new um connections and relationships trying to date and all that stuff trying to make new friends and all that stuff i have enough friends already thank you i already know who are the people in my life that will be staying for a long time and these people i don't even have to chat every day to know that they're there for me and all that good stuff it's something that i've been working on as the weekend said not, you know, not even just the past few months. I've been working on it for a few years now. Being accepting of solitude and the, necess the necessity of it in our lives. Not every time you have to be with someone. Not every time you have to spend time with someone and all that. Not every time you have to try and chase something that you can't really make for yourself. So yeah. Number two, get a bass guitar. I have an acoustic guitar. You, you can see there the, the, the board, but that's not really the guitar that I want. I can't really play guitar anyway because my fingies, my, my small fingies can't really stretch that much. I, I've tried before. That's one of the things I got onto with the pandemic, being bored and all. I tried to learn the keyboard as well. Same problem, can't stretch enough to be able to hit the the notes and the stuff at the same time same with this like the change every time that I strum and whatnot the bass is just so lovely so, um I guess the two instruments that I'd be able to play the most bass and drums those are the two things that I have actually have experience playing and playing well but yeah no bass guitar sadly maybe next year that'll be a lovely video me finally getting the bass guitar and whatnot. Who knows? We'll see. I am trying to save up for various things that um, more PC upgrades, of course, as well as concert tickets. Nothing in particular, but hopefully for March and May next year. Uh, more than likely, I might be going to the one in May because, of course, uh, that's the one that I've been planning on the most because the one in May was announced beforehand before the one in March and because it's sponsored by Pulp rather than Live Nation it's not super overpriced so yeah next 
<laughs> the third one's funny. That's a definite no. It's still something that's in my nature, obviously, being a hopeless romantic. I love to romanticize life. I love to romanticize words. I love to romanticize feelings and situations. It's what inspires me to write. It's what inspires me to create content sometimes. So yeah, definite no on that one. <laughs> uh huh. Exercise a bit more, number four. I would say yes. Definitely at the start of the year, I've been trying to get something going. I've been, I've wanted to continuously like jog every morning and stuff like that, but did not get to do that full time. But as the year progressed, since August, I've been starting to work out a lot more, exercise, eat healthy, drink healthily, and all that good stuff. So yeah, I have no idea what I weigh. The last time I weighed when I went to get uh, my medical checkup for my job, which is over a year ago now, I was told that I was pushing 80 kilos. I don't feel 80 kilos anymore. I don't feel um, the need to drown my sorrows in food and whatnot. So, happy with that. So, yes. I guess a little bit of an exercise regimen sharing, if any of you are interested in all that. Um... I follow intermittent fasting. I do not eat for 18 hours in a day, and then I'll eat two to three meals within six hours every day. I have still been trying to stick with that, of course, but it's the holidays, and my friend who introduced it to me said it's fine. You gotta mess with your routine every once in a while, especially it's the holidays, so give yourself a little break, I guess. But I still exercise and work out even though it's the holidays, which is something that I'm not used to doing, but it's nice. It feels good. It feels liberating. Next, number five, save up more money. This was a regret from last year, obviously, when I still had the job. Even though I was making a good bit of money, I didn't really save much of it. I spent it on myself, spent it on food, um, on my family, of course, and... Uh, on stuff that I won't be getting my investments back on. <laughs> so yeah. Would I say I saved up more money than I did last year? Probably. I actually have no idea how much I had going into 2022. But I know now, going into 2023, I have a little bit of change on me. I'm, I'm happy. Not enough to buy one of those tickets yet, but happy. Um, especially since I've been trying to be productive this holiday season. Been exercising, as I've told been making content, been watching shows and um, stuff that I want to catch up on, especially since I've been busy with work in school, so I've not been able to watch my content creators that I usually watch and whatnot. And yeah, happy, happy, happy. One of those things that I did make was the schedule for next year. I already know my class dates and my work dates, so I made a little schedule table for that. And I made a little tracker for uh, my savings. So, look at me, being productive and stuff. Being a functioning adult. <laughs> Number six, upgrade my PC a bit more. I'd say yes as well. It's not the old mug that barely fits all of its components into it anymore. It has lights, it's fancy. It is no longer overheating or anything like that. It's no longer doing any Windows issues. I never really got around to doing the video of showing off a little bit of the upgrades I made. I saw the footage and all, I, I just have not gotten around to editing it and whatnot, so I apologize for that. But yeah, you've seen it a couple times in some videos. It's big, it's pink, it's scary, <laughs> like the thing in Spongebob. Um, uh, yeah, so yeah, the only thing missing in this puppy I guess. In regards to upgrading would be to change out the processor, maybe the motherboard as well. But that's when I have more money. That's when I'll worry about that and actually think about that. As for now, it still works. Gets me through school. Gets me through making content for y'all. And that's all that matters. Number seven, continue to grow my channel. I'd say yes. There was a slump in this year where I didn't really feel like uploading any new content. Because of, you know, my good old friend, the big sad. But we got through that. We continued on to this year. Because looking at the uploads, I 
tried to follow my schedule consistently, which was I actually don't remember. I mean, <laughs> let me look at the calendar again real quick. So January. So I tried to do the Tuesday Saturday deal. Was it Tuesday Thursday Saturday? Yeah, Tuesday Thursday Saturday is what my old upload schedule was that I tried to do. I kind of did that for a little bit, then I didn't upload for a couple of days. The next upload was on the 29th, and then the next upload after that was Valentine's, and then the next upload after that was like, how many months is that? Four months later in June. And then I kind of tried to start something with just uploading clips and stuff, but didn't really continue doing that. And then I came back for Halloween, and I have been here ever since. You love it. I spent most of the last three months of this year with y'all, and I'm happy. Hello again in my little um, thing. I Obviously, it's not a big secret. I go off the top of my head whenever I make my videos. I don't follow a script or anything like that. But there was something that I wanted to say and I completely forgot to say it. And here I am trying to fit it before the outro. So here you are. Um, regarding the seventh thing about a booth, about growing the channel a little bit more, I'm happy to report that in the time that I uploaded and posted the tweet, December 31st, doing the little analytics thing on YouTube, it said that we gained in that time, even though I was very inactive for some of the months of the year, 95 subscribers. Almost 100 subscribers in a year. That's crazy to me to think about. That's. Thank you. Thank you for sticking with me. Thank you for coming along with the ride and the journey. Hopefully you'll enjoy all the quality content. So yeah, back to the outro. Been really trying to push myself to upload the content every day as much as I can. My Twitch and my live streaming stuff is something I'm still trying to figure out. But hopefully I'll be able to have more time for that in the future. I enjoy streaming Civ. It's fun. I don't know what else I'll be streaming. With the whole cell phone law here in my city, I don't know how I'd be able to do IRL live streams. That's something that I've been wanting to try out for the longest time. Just capture wild events in the live. In the wild. In the wild live. In the live wild. Yeah. So, yeah. Thank you. If you were here for some reason on New Year's Eve watching this and spending a little bit of it with me. Hopefully 2023 will be good for us all, of course. Thank you. I'll see you in the next video. Love you. Goodbye.